ये हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक वेलकम बैक टू बी एस आई टी क्वेश्चन आंसर सीरीज माय सेल्फ गुरु एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द टॉपिक फ्रॉम बी एस आई क्वेश्चन पेपर दैट इज राइट अ मेथड दैट वुड टेक टू एरेज एज इनपुट एंड प्रोड्यूस द थर्ड एरे बाय अपेंडिंग दैल्यूज ऑफ बोथ द एरेज सो दिस वॉज द सेम क्वेश्चन वॉज आस्क इन ऑक्टोबर टू थाउजेंड टेन फॉर एट मार्क्स यू नो सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन to get the 8 marks and and as per the exam point of view also so if you have any queries or any doubts just mail me on gurumatrix2004 at the rate gmail.com so now to do this practical i am going to use visual studio 2010 okay and there i am going to create a console application project because to execute this program so let me just create my console application project by visual studio 2010 to execute my program so i am going to create console application to create the console application i am going to say new project and as you see friends you know on the right hand side my language is visual c sharp and my dot net framework is 4.0 so i'm just going to select my console application and i will give a nice name here as demo on arrays so i will say okay so as you see friends you know my visual studio has created the console application project successfully with some default libraries and with the nice namespace and with the class program and with a static method main method so let's go back to our question now as our question says that we need to take the two arrays as input and produce the third array so first let's create two arrays so let me just create the two arrays of string type string now this is the symbol of of an array you know the square braces so array string array that is colors equal to new string i will just give my array length is 3 and i am going to input some values inside the array that is red green blue so we have created our first array successfully that is colors colors is our array name of length 3 let me just create my second array to create an array we need to use a square braces and with the array name animals equal to new string let me just give my animals name so let's give a uh, animal names here that is lion tiger dog panda penguin so we have created the two arrays successfully first array is of colors second array is of animals now that we have created our two arrays successfully let's go back to our question now now the question says write a method that would take two arrays as input so we need to create a a method that would take two arrays as input and produces a third array by appending the values of two arrays two inputted arrays so we need to create a method now so let's create a static method so public 
static void produce array so this is our method produce array let's pass two arrays as input so let me just say array array class let me use array class you know because we need to pass two arrays as input so that's why i'm using array class you know so array one and this is for array two now let's go back to our question our question says that we need to produce third array by appending the values of two arrays so if you see friends you know our first array colors is of length 3 and our second array that is animals is of length 5 so we need to produce our third array you know by appending the both array values you know so so we need to create a third array of length you know combination of this means 8 so let's do that dynamically you know uh, you know so let's say string first in this step i am going to uh, give the length of the third array by taking the length of these both arrays you know so let me do that string array that is array 3 equal to new string so i will say array 1 dot length plus array 2 dot length so what i did here you know i have taken the length length of both the arrays you know that is this array because I am going to pass the color and animals here color will be of first array and the animal will be second array so length of the first array is 3 and the length of sec uh, second array that is animal is 5 so 5 plus 3 is 8 so I have taken the length of third array dynamically from the array you know whatever the inputted array is there will come you know whatever the input array will come inside the produce array that length will be taken dynamically into the third array next step you know we have created the length of third array successfully now next step is to copy the value of first array into the third array and then copy the second array that is animal animal values into the third array so we need to copy the both the array values into our third array value so let's do that so i am going to use my array class to copy the array values from from one array to another array so this is my array class and inside that i am going to use a copy method copy method helps us to copy the values of one array into the another array so I am going to use array so my source array is as you see friends you know the intelligence of visual studio it is stating me that let me just show you it is stating me that first I need to give a source array our source array is array 1 first we will copy all the array 1 values into our array 3 and our array destination array is array third and the length is you know the length of the first array so let me just show you uh, i will say array one my source array because the uh, from the source where i am going to copy the values and the destination array where i am going to put the, all the values so that destination array is third array three and length the length will be of array 
one length because whatever the whatever values uh, the array array one will have that many values will be copied to array three and that much length we need to assign you know while we passing the array oh, one array value into the another array values so here it is so as you see friends you know we have copied the array array one values into the array three of length array one dot length this is dynamic why because we don't know the length of the first array so that's why i have used array one dot length here in this case you know you we can we can manually give a three as a length but i just want to keep a dynamic way you know so that's why i have just given array one dot length so now now that we have copied the array one value into the array three now let's copy array two values into the array three so let me just copy the array two value into the array three so i will say i will use the same class array dot copy method now here i will say my source array is array 2 my source index of array is 0 because my animal source index is starting from 0 only so 0 array destination is array 3 destination array is nothing but where i am going to copy the values of source array you know so array 2 is my source array and array 3 is my destination array and the length will be array 3 dot length why array 3 dot length because my array 3 is now having the values of array 1 that's why i am using array 3 dot length you know so oh i'm uh, array 3 and uh, the length length will be of array 2 dot length this is the length of the source array you know let me just repeat this again you know what i did you know to copy my second array i have just given my source array as array 2 because i want to copy the second array values into the third array so i said source array is my array 2 my source index because this animals i mean to say second array is starting from 0 the source index you know that's why i have given the source index as 0 and array 3 array 3 is my destination array where i want to copy all the array 2 values and the length the destination length the destination why i have gi why i have given the array 3 dot length because my array 3 is now holding the values of array 1 so that's why i have given array 3 dot length if it was not holding the values of array 3 you know then possibly i can give he here as 0 you know i can use here as 0 you know so because my array 3 is now holding the values of array 1 so that's why i have directly given array 3 dot length to start you know and finally the length the length of source array the length of source array is is 5 year i can manually give 5 year but i want to keep this as dynamic way so i have just used array 2 dot length you know to get the length of second array so my friends this is how we have copied you know the values of first array into the array 3 first in the first step and in the second step what we did you know we have copied the values of array 2 successfully now let me just display the output of array 3 now let display all the values you know in array 3 so as you see friends you know by using the for each loop i have displayed all the values inside the array 3 so i for that you know just i have used 
output variable string output variable to append the values of array 3 to my output variable one by one and uh, so that I can display it properly in my console application so this is optional you know if you want to use this way you can use this way or you can directly use console dot write line inside the for each loop any way you can do but I have used this format you know to display the output so so my display output of third array is like this so by using the console application I'm sorry console dot write line I had displayed my third array output now let me just build this oh final step you know let me call this produce array method in my main method because we need to pass our two arrays to the produce array so let me just call produce array so as you see friends you know the intelligence of visual studio is asking me pass array 1 that is colors and array 2 is animals so now let me just build this just to ensure is everything is perfect yes build is succeeded now let me just run this program and show you the output so just see friends you know my display output of third array is is a combination of first array and the second array that is the values of first array and the second array so that is red green blue the values of first array and lion tiger dog panda penguin the values of second array so so we have successfully executed this program we have created a method that would take two arrays as input and produces the third array by appending the values of one to other so two arrays as input so we use the two arrays as input and produces our third array by using the array dot copy method you know so by using the array class and the copy method of the of the array class we have displayed our array 3 successfully so so this is it you know we are done with our program so if you have any doubts or any queries regarding this topic you know just feel free to mail me on gurumatrix2004 at the rate gmail.com so it is very important question in bsc it question paper because it is for 8 marks mm -hmm.